19th century and well into the 20th century, its two cathedrals stood testament to the city's dual identity, Ulster Protestant Orange and Irish Catholic Green. Then, in the 1960s, the river that flows through it lent its name to a new brand of music, the Mersey Sound. The city, of course, is Liverpool, in Merseyside, Lancashire. In February 1963, the personification of the Mersey Sound, the Beatles, reached the number one slot with Please Please Me. And a short time later, Don Haworth, a 39-year-old senior talks producer at the BBC, arrived in the Fab Four's hometown to make a programme about their rise to fame. His half-hour documentary was broadcast in October 1963. Two years later, Haworth, then living in Burnley, Lancashire, returned to Liverpool to make another programme, a documentary exploring the hopes, fears and aspirations of the ordinary Liverpudlians. The Scousers are a race apart, Haworth told the Daily Mirror's Ken Erwin. There's nobody quite like them, wherever you look. I wanted to get at the real people, to find out what they were really like. In what was to become a three-month project, Haworth conducted what he described as extremely frank interviews with dockers, housewives, trade union activists, local councillors, orange men, Catholic priests and policemen, setting up their cameras for a folk night at Walton Labour Club. Haworth's production team filmed Anthony or Tony Murphy singing The Orange and the Green, a self-panned ballad set to the air of a much older ballad, The Rising of the Moon. The 31-year-old self-effacing factory worker from Fincham Close in Houghton had sang the song on numerous occasions at the Wash House Folk Club on the London Road. Those assembled at the Walton Labour joined in the chorus as Tony sang of a Liverpool boy's confused identity, brought about by his father's staunch leanings towards Orangism and British loyalism, and his mother's deep devotion to Catholicism and Irish republicanism. In essence, then, Tony managed to fit 400 years of troubled history into a six-verse humorous ballad. The documentary was broadcast as the Singing City, at 9.25pm on the 31st of August 1965, much of the soundtrack featuring songs by the Liverpool-based folk group, The Spinners. Tony Murphy's rendition of The Orange and the Green was included about 35 minutes into the 50-minute programme. Just as the final credits were rolling, BBC switchboard operators found themselves inundated with calls from viewers Catholic and Protestant alike, all of whom asked one simple question. Where can I get a recording of that song, the one about the orange and the green? The hard-pressed telephonists, of course, had to say that, as far as they knew, Mr Murphy had not yet recorded it to disc, which was true. In a follow-up interview, Tony told the Liverpool Echo that shortly after the broadcast, he received a telephone call from a representative of a Belfast recording company, offering him an immediate contract. But singing is not for me, said Tony in all humility. I enjoy folk music and get a lot of laughs making up songs, but that's as far as it goes. Knowing that the ballad had within it all the hallmarks of a surefire hit, the spinners flew to London on the 6th of September and recorded The Orange and the Green for the Fontana label. Beryl Davis, wife of the spinner's tall frontman Tony Davis, said that the group were planning to record the song at the end of September. But there was such a demand, she said, for the song that the company asked them to make it right away. It was a good move. The song was indeed a hit. Tony Murphy's newfound fame, said the Echo, is richly deserved. Perhaps it will bring wider recognition of the fact that Liverpool excels in this kind of music too. Toronto-based folk group, the Irish Rovers, recorded the song in 1967. 
thereby introducing it to Canadian and American audiences. And back in Ireland, it was subsequently recorded by The Wolf Tones and by Paddy Riley. Following a short illness, Tony Murphy passed away on the 8th of June 2017. Tony Murphy's Orange and the Green was far removed from the preachy nature of many of the 1960s protest songs. Rather, the song simply made both sides laugh at themselves, something which could perhaps inspire future generations of politically minded singers. It is the biggest mix-up that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. It's the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. Now, my father was an Ulster man, proud Protestant was he. My mother was a Catholic girl from County Cork, was she? They were married in two churches, lived happily enough. Until the day that I was born, then things got rather rough. Oh, for it's the greatest big song that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. Well, baptised by Father Riley, then rushed away by car. To be made a little orange man, me father's shining star. I was christened David Anthony, but yet in spite of that. To me father, I was William, while me mother called me Pat. Oh, for it's the greatest mix song that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green. Now with mother, every Sunday morn, to mass I proudly stroll. While later on, the orange lodge would try to save my soul. For both sides tried to claim me, but I was smart because I'd play me flute or play me harp, depending where I was. Oh, for it's the greatest mix song that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green. Now, when I'd play those rebel songs, much to my mother's joy, my father would leap up and say, Look here, William, me boy, you've sung enough of that lot. He'd then toss me a coin. He'd make me sing of the orange flute and the heroes of the boy. Oh, for it's the greatest mix song that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green. Now one day, me ma's relations, they came to visit me. By chance, me father's kinfolk, they were sitting down to tea. Well, we tried to smooth things over, but they all began to fight. And being strictly neutral, I bust every one in sight. Oh, but it's the greatest mix song that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green. Now, my parents never could agree about my type of school. My learning all was done at home, no wonder I'm a fool. Well, they both passed on, God bless them, but I'm caught in between. That awful colour problem of the orange and the green. Oh, for it's the greatest mix song that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green.